it is Monday, which means it's time for a new plan with me. I I'm going to show you guys a uh, look back at last week's first. I love this. I love the way that it turned out. I love the balloons. I love the colors. I think it turned out really super pretty. And this week was a great week for me. One, I reached 1,300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I It just made my day that you guys want to watch my videos and care about what I'm saying or care about what I'm doing. I think that's awesome. So thank you very much. Another awesome thing was that my niece was born on Saturday. I don't get to see her yet because I live in Michigan. My brother lives in New York. So it's going to be a couple weeks till I get there. But I was definitely hounding him since Thursday about giving me updates for when she was born because I needed to know and she was born on Saturday early 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 in the morning very exciting week that was going on now on to this week this week I am working on May 2nd through the 8th and I feel like I have a lot of bigger events going on for this week so it should fill up pretty quickly I am using a kit this week as well this one is from Nicole Alexia designs this is the Kate kit she has reformatted her kits to do five sheets, I think. This is what is normally in what was normally included in her kits were these four pages. And I had purchased these full boxes previously, so I have those as well. She has reformatted her kits, so they do look different than what they look like here. But since I had this, I love this kit and I wanted to use it. So that's what we're doing for this week. So we're just going to jump into this and get started. We will start with the sidebar. So we're going to turn my planner sideways and then begin. So we're going to start with up at the top. Let me find all my full boxes here. And I'm going to start off with putting up this box right here. It is just a really pretty mason jar with flowers in it. There's that. That's beautiful. And then I'm going to use a few habit trackers from Planning with Daisy. And I like these ones because they're kind of like a pastel -y color, which will go nicely with the spread that I'm doing right now. I'm going to start by putting down a habit tracker. There are all three of those. Underneath that, I'm going to put a box. And I'm going to use these ones from Oh Hello Stationery Co. because I want a solid colored box. So I'm going to use this lighter green color like that and then I'm going to use one of the flags off of this sheet. On here I'm going to use this to track my YouTube things like subscribers and how my week starts off with the number of views. I'm going to use a thin piece of washi and just cut it into thirds. Next I'm going to do my steps tracker. But before I put that down, I'm going to put another half or another full box down. So I'm going to use this one that has mason jars on it also. Put this down at the very bottom. For my steps, I'm first going to stick a piece of washi down. And then there aren't really stickers I can use from this kit that say steps. However, there are these little things that she includes in this kit and I'm going to use the asterisk ones. There's seven so that works out perfectly to mark down my steps for each day of the week. There are all those and then see I put that full box down and it just works out perfectly. And then the last thing I'm going to add on is she has these little circles on here. One says important, one says don't forget. I'm going to stick one of those down here in this empty space at the bottom. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for right now but We'll stick it there and something will go there, I'm sure. So then we can open it up and start on the rest of the week. I like the brightness of the sidebar. I'll show you guys how my last spread I did using a kit from Nicole Alexia Designs turned out. It was a spread that I loved. It was back in March and it was reading month. So I did the floral script kit and this is what that one looked like. I love the way that this turned out. I love the kit that I used for this. Absolutely beautiful. And so I'm really excited to use something else from her. So we're going to get started. I'm going to start off like I do every week and do all of my YouTube section down here. My 
work headers. I'm going to use these half ombre heart checklists for my work schedule and then my oh shoot okay we're gonna have to do this a little differently because I forgot her headers are different okay so we will do to do will be for my YouTube section and then we'll do today headers up at the top and then I will have a little things section um right above that but I will do that show you guys what I'm going to use for that after. So I'm going to go ahead and do my beginning parts that I normally do and then be right back with you guys. I didn't end up putting up a header for my YouTube section kind of because I already know what I'm gonna what it's for and I wanted to break apart my work section and the rest of my day so I think it still works and with this big piece of washi that is supposed to be bottom washi but I like to use it to kind of separate out my YouTube section from the rest of my day I think it looks good I'm loving how bright this is and how like super springish this is. It's super, super pretty so far. So I'm really excited to get into the rest of this stuff. The next thing I'm going to put up, oh, before I get to that, I'll tell you guys real quick. The green washi I used is from Oh Hello Stationery Co. It comes, I got it in a pack of like 12, 10 or 12 different colors. And the striped washi I used is one from Joanne Fabrics. It's the two for a dollar packs that she, they sell. Also, I put up the day of the week covers. These I used the rest, well, almost the rest. There's one week left from this Little Dog Paper Co. date covers kit. And now I can go in and do my little things. So I have my little things header. And I'm also going to use this heart for my days without soda. I have my hydrate stickers. These are from Pop Fizz Paper. These were from the May Pop Fizz Paper Mystery Kit. And my television show stickers from Mila's Print Shop. So I'm going to go through, put those down here at the bottom, and then be right back. start planning for the week. So I have a ton of full boxes. So I'm going to try and fill them in like as best as I can and just use them all up. I normally don't do this. I normally don't go through and like put in full boxes throughout the week just because I feel like I'm wasting stickers or I feel like my planner gets too bulky. But whatever. I'm just going to do it because I have them and they're beautiful and so let's just use them. I'm also going to go in and put down my lunch bags from Libby & Co. on the days that I want to take lunch to work. I'm going to go in and do my YouTube section. I'm going to mark down with these flags. I'm going to cut off the bottom heart and mark down with those flags the days that I'm going to put up a video. And I have these little dots that I can use for marking down different, like making a list for stuff. And I pulled my computers from Mila's Print Shop. So I'm going to go through, do all that stuff, and we'll just fast forward through that.
boxes left. I have one on this sheet, which I didn't really want to use this one. I like the more florally looking one. I used both of them off of this sheet, and I have four left on this sheet. So we'll see if I'll get to use these at all, or if I can work them in somewhere else later on down the line. But now we can go through and start planning things for the rest of the week. So I have a lot of birthdays and anniversaries that are going on for people this week. On Monday is my cousin's birthday. I'm going to use these bright skinny boxes from One Orange Snowflake. Stick that there. And this is for my cousin Amelia. She's turning seven. And I'm going to use one of these birthday cakes from Mila's print shop. Also on Monday, I want to work on my memories pages. So before each month I do pictures of things that happen throughout the week and I have to work on April. So I'm going to do that on Monday. I'm going to stick a little piece of washi right underneath here first. And then I have these boxes from this kit. So I'm going to use one of these. I don't have a camera icon or anything, but I'm going to use one of these teardrops. We'll do a green one. And then off of my February icons from One Orange Snowflake, there are these little washi tapes. So I'm going to use one of these and stick that kind of for there. And then off of my March icons, I'm going to use one of these little books because that kind of reminds me of a planner. So we'll just stick that up here as well. So that's up for Monday. On Tuesday is my brother and sister-in-law's anniversary. So I'm going to use another little skinny box. I just remembered something. I didn't want to put these down here. I wanted to do them up top. Let me see if I can get them up. They came up fairly easily. So we can put the birthday back up here. And then I'll just cut off the little extra bits later. Tuesday, we have this box. And I grabbed out little gift boxes from Mila's print shop. So I'm gonna stick a little present here as well as off of this sheet, there are some little hearts. So I'm gonna stick one of the little hearts up there. I'm gonna fill this space right here with some washi tape, which isn't really washi tape, it's stickers, but that's what it's called, right? There, just to kind of fill in that space. Okay, so back to Tuesday. Um, on Tuesday, I want to update my calendar. I'm gonna fill the rest of this section up with this box. I'm gonna cut it though that it's not taking up a whole bunch of, like it's not layered a whole bunch. On Tuesday, I update my calendar. I have like the rest of last week to finish out on my calendar on my wall. I keep track of certain things on there just to remind myself of birthdays or big events that happened throughout the month or whatever. So I'm just gonna take a box and stick it up here. We can use another teardrop off of here. Stick that, we'll do it up in this corner this time. And off of this sheet, I think we'll just take a book off of this sheet and stick it on there. Because even though it's not my planner, it's my calendar, it'll still work fine. That's all I have right now for Tuesday. On Wednesday, I need to clean my yard, which sounds weird, but if you have pets, you understand. So I'll stick a half box up here. I have my little beagle stickers from Vintage Gypsy Road and we'll use one of those and stick Jazzy right there. Also on Wednesday, I want to work on decluttering. So I have just another one of these thinner boxes. They're like a quarter size that I use down here for YouTube stuff. I'm just going to stick this right here off of these little headers. I'm going to take a don't forget sticker just because I think we can break this area up. It's a lot of pattern. So we'll stick something solid here and then use off of here a little house sticker and we'll use a little trash sticker. Wednesday is trash day anyway and it'll just go along with it I guess. Thursday is one of my friend's birthdays. Put another birthday cake up here. Later on in the day what is this? Thursday. I want to pre-plan next week. I have some little appointment boxes from Oh Hello Stationery Co. So I'm just going to use this green one here. I have one last washi tape here. I'm just going to stick this in this empty spot here. 
I'm just gonna stick a piece of one of the washi strips down here and then stick a one of these half checklists back down there and then stick one of my leftover to-do headers on and it'll just be a to-do list for that day. Friday is payday! We stick a box up here. Maybe we should stick some washi. And then I have a flag from my One Orange Snowflake March sheet. I'm just going to stick a green flag up here that'll kind of just be like, hey, it's payday type of a thing that's more solid so it'll be more noticeable. And I have my money stacks from Snapcraft Pop. We'll stick that on here and we'll do one more teardrop. Also on Friday, I want to work on my savings envelopes. I like doing it every couple of weeks, making sure they're all up to date. So I'm going to use a sticker again off of the Oh Hello Stationery Co. sheet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Don't Forget circle and kind of just center it in the middle of here. Then off of here, there are there is this little envelope icon. I'll stick that on here. And lastly, for Friday, I want to make sure I paint my nails. So I'm going to use another one of the Oh Hello Stationery Co. appointment boxes. Let's take... And I have nail polish bottles from Taylor Bain stickers. And on to Saturday. Saturday is a nice long day. Saturday, I have a staff meeting in the morning. I'm just using a box. This is from Libby & Co. This staff meeting is at a restaurant, so I'm going to use off of my Scribble Prints Co. March icons. I'm going to use one of the little knife and fork icons. Put that right there. Also on Saturday, before I forget, is one of my is my best friend's wedding anniversary with her husband. So I'm going to use another one of these stickers. We'll put another little gift box there and a heart. Also on Friday is something called the Gypsy Flea Market that I'm really looking forward to going to. So I'm going to use a half box. I'm going to use a bigger teardrop. This one is from, oh, nope, this one's from One Orange Snowflake. I'm going to use a sticker from this Oh Hello Stationery Co. sheet. This is the May Monthly Sampler. I'm going to use this sticker that looks like a purse as well as one of these money symbols from my One Orange Snowflake my March icons, and then take the smaller teardrop and stick it here. And this will be for the time. That's it for now for Saturday, on to Sunday. Sunday is my grandma's birthday. And then for the rest of the day, let's see. It is Mother's Day, so I wanna mark that down. A half box on this sheet, so I'm gonna take that, stick that up here and take a flag. We'll do off of this sheet. There are a couple hearts left, so I'm gonna just take those off and stick them on there just to decorate a little. So on Sunday, I am planning on going to lunch with my mom. So I'm gonna use another half box from Libby & Co. I'll use another large teardrop from this One Orange Snowflake sheet. From this sheet, I'll take another meal tracker thing and we'll do wine glasses sure and off of this one we'll just take a little present and I think that's about it so I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I have left over from the kit I bought first off of the a la carte sheet I picked up I just have one full box left off of this sheet I have four flags left this sheet has three full boxes and a bunch of washi left over this sheet has a bunch of like icon type stickers. These are also for like the little things section, but I don't use them for that. I might find something else to use these for. I have one to-do header and then one ombre heart checklist, a little half box. And then off of this sheet, I have the heart checklist, um, a bunch of headers, two bill due stickers. I didn't have any bills due this week, so that was nice. A few stickers down here and a few here as well. So I use quite a bit of the kit up. There are, there's still quite a bit I can do with this spread and fill it out throughout the week as the week goes on. As of right now, I really like the way it looks. I think it's fun and bright and spring-ish and I don't know, I just really am enjoying it. And I'm sorry that there's a glare on some of the stickers. 
that's what happens when you use random glossy stickers. That helps a little. Okay, that's great. <laughs> but yeah, I love the way that this has turned out. I think it's super, super pretty. I'm ecstatic with how it looks. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys decorated your spreads this week. Or if you guys do play with me videos. I had one person tell me last week that did them and I checked out their videos. I'm looking forward to checking out more of you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe if you are new and I will see you real soon. Bye! <music>